it's okay. It's just my arm. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to go like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I won't lose a name. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Oh, hey, are you okay? <laughs> come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Oh, hey. my God. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. Mm. Huh? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Mm. Okay, good enough. Almost there. Okay. Mm. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Mm, yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have bugged out. She's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? It's so stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come mm. on, mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. See if you can rest over here. Hey, mm? easy, easy. <sighs> she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know. Mm. Because we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We're gonna go that way. Ah. Come on. All right. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find us a way out. Listen to me. My girl's out there. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's here. a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife. Oh no no no! Look, I, I didn't know anything about no. your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. Duty. 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 We need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> come on, help me. Come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. Okay, 
cruiser. Let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that ship. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Bruiser is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? You, uh, you rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, and I know, yeah, you would want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't help myself. It's, uh, it's like I said, I'll be back. Boozer? Another Nero chopper. Wonder what the hell they're up to. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I was thinking about where it all began. Let's go deep. Back to the big WW2. Huh. 1947, the feds passed a, what they call it, the National Security Act. Now, what this did was give the feds the right to take over our roads, railroads, and radio. Anything they damn well pleased. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone. But we're still here. Shining the spotlight of truth on the world. Truth is, I've seen it coming. Years ago, we had photos. Nero death camps built to hold us, American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. Tell you one thing. It won't happen again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you were right about... <sighs> ah, what the... Oh, Jesus, ah. Better have a look around, Deke.
Slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Dick it out. with that shit that's mine so what the hell are they doing looked like they were out here shit wrangling freaks i don't know they had a newt in some kind of noose like they were putting a tracking device on it or something what wrangling what, what do you mean you know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah... No, 
No, not, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? 